What's up, my loves? You're watching Amanda OK. And today I have for y'all the review and to try on the new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. OK. So, yes, I got the new Tint Stick by Fenty Beauty, the Ease Drop stick version i know she has the liquid version okay i got the color 13. okay so yes if you want to even just continue to see how i got this look right here make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing okay let's get into the details tinted stick okay ease drop blur and smooth tinted stick okay foundation so she's supposed to be lightweight light coverage which is very much buildable she's supposed to be even fade proof and transfer proof okay wow we could test that right now i didn't even test it towards the end but let's test it right now before y'all even get started and waste y'all time there's nothing Okay, all right, she is transfer proof, okay? Wow, I didn't even, <laughs> I was so excited to put it on, I didn't even test at the end if it was transfer proof, but um, she is. Okay, good, great, let's continue. Right, y'all, let's uh, hop right into this right here, right now. Just received the Ease Drop Blur and Smooth tint stick okay all right so we have the packaging right here pretty sure i showed y'all in the beginning of the video so i'm just gonna you know do a little one of these numbers and side note if you hear some snoring my bulldog is sleeping so don't mind him um but the stick is cute i figured i probably never tried the liquid version because i don't know i just didn't try it i had the foundation already i have the powder foundation and what's with all these foundations <laughs> but i don't know the stick kind of intrigued me a little bit i feel like it's just like a little easier just to put on you can apply with your fingers you can apply with a brush you can do what you want okay so yes i got the color 13. okay i was gonna get 14 because i am a little more tanner but then i might be a little more tanner like see this is tan and this is not, okay? But I do ultimately want to match my neck, so whatever. 13 was looking okay online, and then look, if I need to go back and get 14, that's fine, but I'm not beat for it because, I mean, summer's almost over and we're not getting any more tanner, so, <laughs> or I don't plan on it. But yeah, we get all of this in a stick. It goes all the way down here. Um, and yeah, let's just get to swatching and then blending and then putting this face together okay all right i'm gonna blend this ease drop stick with my morphe mb39 brush it's pretty like dense and i feel like that would be perfect to blend out all right i'm just gonna try it on one side to see if we're even going to match okay let's do it y'all ready i'm scared <laughs> Huh. Okay. Let's blend that a little bit before I go crazy all over. It's not looking bad. A little lighter, but like, let's just blend it. Huh. That's not bad. You know what, the color I feel like is a mix between what's on my face, a little lighter than my body, and then what's on my body, but not exactly the tan on my body. Oh. <laughs> and that blends so smooth, duh. It's called Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. All right, let me just, let me just put it all over now. 
I don't really think you need a lot either. Well, for starters, and y'all, I did not, I just opened it. I received it in the mail the other day and I never used it like I said and this um this works really nice uh blends really easy <laughs> I'm not even looking in my mirror I can see it in my phone <laughs> look I done got it all the way down there But that blends really nice. And I really thought this was not gonna be my shade 100% when I, I did open it to see the color. I just didn't apply it. I think I actually applied it on the back of my hand. Um, but if you see, if you saw my face before I applied this, this is not what my face is looking like. And it still looked pretty good against my tan. What y'all think? Tell me down below what y'all think. That was so effortless. I did that in a few minutes. Hello. Let me finish the rest and I'm gonna show y'all. I also picked up the, uh, was this Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush and this was called Big Melons, okay? I love me a good, nice, orangey, corally uh, blush and especially go, I wear that all year round. Doesn't even matter. And I actually picked up another one, but it's not one of the part of her new blushes, but it's the purple one, Drama Class. I've been waiting for her to be back in stock with that for like how long? I don't even know. Um, but for today, I'm gonna show y'all Big Melons. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, y'all, I think I did um, show y'all little snippets of how I set my face. I set my face with the Kimchi Beauty Puff Puff Pass Set and Bake Powder in the color 03. And then I warmed up my face with the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. And this is in the color Caramel Cutie. Okay just to give her some nice little bit of definition, little, you know, warmth, more warmth to the face, as much warmth as I can get. And now we're on to the newer edition Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in the color Big Melons. <laughs> I can just imagine Rihanna just saying, I wanna name her Big Melons. <laughs> okay. I have a couple of them already. I think I have Daiquiri Dip, Rose Latte, that, um, ooh, Fuego, something, Fuego. That's like an orangey, more like tangerine-y, but like glowy one. I kind of use that as like a topper for like a highlight kind of. Um, but Big Melons, okay, she's so pretty. And I do this right with my fingers. I do not use no type of brush, nothing. I'm gonna apply them to my cheeks and let's see how this looks, okay? Big melons. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh. Now look, the other ones, I be used to just digging in them and doing it. I am not afraid of blush, but wow. Wow, like this color. <laughs> I don't think I need a lot at all. Okay. Oh no, she's fine. Oh yeah, she's good. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, did I put too much on my finger? Ooh, she's so nice. Uh, 
I can stop there, but I'm gonna keep going because I love me some blush, y'all. Love some blush. This is pretty. Just a little bit more. <gasps> that looks real good. Now I could stop here. Sometimes I like to just set it. I have left it without setting it and it's perfectly fine. But I like to kind of add some zhuzh to it. So I'm going to add a little bit of an orangey toned blush to go with it. I'm going in with this Juvia's Place. What is this volume? Does it tell me volume one? blush palette and of course I'm going in with this one just to add to that orangey look I hate to take away from the color and use like a blush that has nothing to do with the uh, cream blush mm -hmm, this looks good let's get a little bit on the nose here so good. Yeah, that was a good one. I just decided to go in with whatever I had around here in my mega bag. I just went in with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss and this is in the color Heat. Okay, she is really cute. Natural, but like nice. And this is just gloss. No lip liner, no lipstick, no nothing. Okay. Mmm, she looks really good. Really, really good. Okay, let's talk about her. Okay. <laughs> Application 2.5 seconds. And that is what I love with foundations, powder foundations, tinted moisturizers, you name it. Make my life easy, please. Okay, that's what I'm about. Um, again, I got the shade color 13. And I love her. Really love her. I, and the color is perfectly fine. I didn't really have to manipulate and do too much. And I think I'm really gonna be just fine when I start to lose my tan because I know this is just the smidgetest lighter than my tan right now. But I feel like this is like, okay, this might be my shade going into the fall, maybe into the winter, and then we'll see how we look once we've lost all the tan and then I might have to go a little lighter but this was such a smooth application my face looks so smooth and blurred and you saw how much I put on I didn't put on too much just a couple of glides whatever and call it a day love her I expected to love her I was just worried about the skin color the the skin tone the color of the stick matching me but i'm not worried no more okay i am down always down for the fancy beauty okay we're sticking with her and i find myself like i'm gonna use this and like maybe the powder foundation more than her liquid foundation it's so much easier i don't have to do the pumps in the back of the hand or on the face and do the beauty blender make sure all the stuff is blended out properly 10 10 out of 10 i have no complaints it's in a stick She's travel friendly. No complaints. Okay. I hope y'all like that today. I hope you like how my face look. I just put something together in 2.5 seconds. Mascara, no lashes. I just wanted to show y'all how this applied. And yeah, if you like that, give this video a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss a thing. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for watching.